All right, I got a 2017 Super SR 400 here. Um, this last summer, everything was disconnected and pulled out, but the safety brake cable was not and ripped it into shreds. So uh, I had to replace that, um, which I have already done. You can see the new one is on here, but I thought I'd walk you through it. Um, mine was a UFP A60, which is this one right here. So I, I got the, um, cable kit um and put it all took it all out and put it back together um first thing i would recommend doing is going up underneath here um where your brake line attaches to your solenoid it's too dark to really show anything um there it is um disconnect uh, from the solenoid your brake line your uh that white white line that comes off phillips but then this blue one I had to cut and splice back together. And I'll get those three things off, get some snap ring pliers, take these off, take the washers off, or th both of these, and then pound those out. And then this whole thing will slide right out. And I'll show you how to get it all put back together. All right, I've got this apart already. So you're wondering why I might be starting here. A little tip from me was I took my pins out and had slid this head out before I disconnected my brake line. Um, for me, on my unit, um, this is what my brake line looks like. Um, I caused myself lots of angst because of this. Um, because I had taken everything out, it was sloppy inside the head. And when I tried to take this off, this thing was stuck on here pretty good. And I got to a point where I had rounded it off a little bit. And then Again, you have right out here, it's nice and easy, but when it's up in, in the head with all the metal, you have literally like a tiny little portion to be able to rotate this. Given that this had a hex on it, I thought maybe I needed to rotate this bigger one, but that's uh, not the case and got myself in trouble. Um, so I thought I would share for my boat with my cable line. It's a flared fitting. This is what it looks like. Um, because this had a hex head on it, I was trying to use it to also help get this thing off because I didn't know what it was. I'm not a mechanic at all. And I ended up um, doing this, which is very bad because it has no more flared head on it. Uh, so I am in also gonna be replacing my whole cable. Um, I'll put a link to that in the description if you happen to be in the same boat. But if you just listen to this word of caution, you shouldn't be. So make sure you keep your your pins in and disconnect your brake. First thing would be my suggestion. That way it won't be sloppy when you're um, trying to undo this. And just undo this. If yours does have a hex head like this, which I have no clue why they put that on there, um, do not touch it. Um, go for the little one. Now that it's all out, um, it's pretty easy. Um, just use this tab here to help pull it out. And if these haven't already fallen out, they'll fall out. No worries. They, one side's bigger than the other, so um, when you go to put them back in, um, they can only fit on one, one side here, so it's pretty easy. So with, um, with the head out now, get your, your new uh, breakaway cable. And um, I would say that most of my research showed that these, these A60 heads, um, as this shows in this document here uh, that came with it, um, the safety cables coming out the center or the front of the head. And if you look at mine, there is no hole in the front, so there's nowhere for it to come out. Um, only logical places for it to come out on this side here, so that's where I'll be fishing it through. So, take this through side. There's a bit of a channel on the inside here that I think it's probably supposed to run along so it doesn't get in the way of the other stuff. Um, there is this little grommet that comes with it. I'm assuming that's for when it's coming out that hole in the front, but this model doesn't have it. So I just, in order to get this through, I just jammed it through there. That's right here. Um, kind of set the assembly back in 
see where it goes. Don't put it in yet. Because you need to bring this cable along and around this right there. You get this over that shaft, um, but not yet. Slide um, your the end of the cable, and so it's attached right here. And then slide that over the top. Let's take up some of this slop here in the cable, and start to get this thing lined up in that hole. And get your rollers. Again, they only fit one way, so uh, get them in there. Pull this cable. Just move this tab here as you're pushing it in, because it's kind of get some friction in there. And make sure it's trying to make sure it's along the side and beyond there. Next, you got to get. You could put this, try to put the head back in, but um, I would strongly suggest getting some three quarter inch wood dowel. Uh, cut mine to just a tiny bit over three inches for my head. You want it to be lined up really with this. Get these to go through these rollers so you're not having to fight with them moving around. in there. Put this one in too. Okay. These are flush now so that when we go to put the head back in everything will stay together and then these will just push those wood pieces out. Should make it easier for us. All right got the head all ready to go. Brake lines good. Uh, Put the, my, my fitting on here before I got in, just to make it a little easier. So I'm gonna line this dowel up over here. Uh, <clears throat> my first. So now you can see how these dowels have kept everything together, so hopefully we'll just pound these through. snap rings. Make sure you get them in the channel. This one's not. Here we go. Okay, good to go there. All right, now with the head in, um, got a couple things to do. Got to hook our positive wire, our blue wire up. That goes there. This white wire gets screwed in into the solenoid up there. And then the brake line goes into the back here. Can't really video this and uh, show you on this. This fitting gets back up into there. So uh, I'm gonna get that done and I'll just take a picture of it and show you afterwards. Okay, got my blue line 
back together. We've got the brake line in the solenoid and the white one on. And then this back on here. And that's everything under here. All right, so now we're gonna have to bleed the brakes. So if you wanna already take that cover off, pry this up, fill this reservoir up, um, and you gotta make sure you keep it full as you're bleeding the brakes. Uh, it takes really two people to do this well. All right, to bleed the brakes here, you basically wanna be pushing back on, on this right here. In order to get to that, um, you want your screwdriver through here. Now you can see it's engaging in that. So you're gonna pull back on it, the screwdriver. As you can see, it locked it in place. So as you're doing it, you just keep this tab up and then it, it won't lock like that. So keep that up, put your screwdriver through there and just do some pumping action, which will help to bleed the brakes.